is going to yell, how's it looking? Is it still ablaze? Extremely, come in here and help me fix this since it's your problem. I think it's everyone's problem. I still say the best solution is to ignore it. <laughs> Sounds and like that will get us all killed. Ah, it's worked for me before. <laughs> Isn't that right, Donnie? Quack, shut up, Donnie! Alright, Ori's going to roll her eyes at him and just start control flame which is five foot cube that she can extinguish at a time. Very nice. And that's a cantrip. Which is also nice. It's very nice since there's a lot of flames <coughs> in here. So is this one right here, is that on a door? It is indeed. Or is this like yeah. a counter? No, it is a door. So it's like a room. Okay. Having so, yeah, said that, the room has glass walls. Or like windows, big windows. Oh dear god, this glass is gonna shatter. It would have been nice if I had my decanter with me. It was such a wonderful item. The f is that what word even mean? Nick. I don't know why incantations have anything to do with this, but I've never killed a fire before. <laughs> <laughs> and he runs up and tries to swing at the fire. How about... You leave the flames to me, and you get rid of the creatures, without setting more fire. This sounds like a good deal. I like that. To be fair, I only set one of these fires. Okay, well, I didn't. Just, just go. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's gonna turn around and go back. Not that way! Which way am I going? Am I going this way? Yes, okay. and I have already extinguished the flame that he's on. Nice. Yeah, let's just do that. Make it that way. <laughs> he's gonna go forward. He's like, "You, are, thank you for putting out the fire." It's like I have a morbid fear of fire and water and soap. Oh, dear Lord. I cleanse myself in the waters of Lake Mintitonka, which is pure Gatorade. <laughs> I was hoping he was going to say tree. <laughs> <laughs> no, I leave the tree resin to, to other people. Weirdos. God damn it. <laughs> uh, uh, am I assuming that you're going to continue clearing these? Uh... Yes. Okay. In which case. I'm going to clear as much as I can before initiative kicks in. <laughs> Alright, well, luckily for you, the uh, the dogs are actually, let's see, I'll spin them so it's easier to tell. They're facing the other way, and hopefully I can spin them back later if I need to. Yeah, you can... I can, I can, but sometimes when I click these, they, like, pull up the fucking thing on the bottom, and I can no longer hit the fucking spinny thing. It's doing it again. I'm extinguishing as much flames as possible. Ready. At which point, Catharsis is going to look back and say, There's a lot of motherfuckers in here. And I really don't want to catch on fire again. That hurt the first time. Well, yeah. So why'd you... She's just not even going to bother anymore. <laughs> because she just feels like he's... He's an idiot. idiot. Like, yeah, he's is. He's an idiot. Like she's the <laughs> smartest. Person no, he's around, he is. But... Have you ever seen Yu-Gi-Oh! The Abridged Series? When I was a kid. He's Tristan. Tristan. Yeah, he's Tristan. Yeah, I don't remember who. I'm trying to think. Like, uh, what was one of your favorite anime? 
I don't watch a ton of anime. Sailor Moon, My Hero, a little bit of Dragon Ball Z. Right, let's see. From My Hero is probably going to be one of the easiest ones, but even then, I don't um, think they Dang have a and Okay, My Hero Academia. Uh, lightning guy when he uses too much voltage. Yeah, that, that's the bit. I was trying to. Okay. I was trying to think of. So even then, it's like it's very similar. But there's there's there are very few characters that encompass the idea of that. There's another one, but he's also a hodgepodge of characters. But he's basically a huge fucking idiot. That is the best way to describe him. Okay. Donnie is a hundred percent the brains behind that operation. That's terrifying. <laughs> it really is, especially because Donnie is a lot smarter than he should be. <laughs> I rolled real well. Terrifying. Anyway, uh, he looks back. He's like, "All right, these things in here, I don't know what they are, but they hurt." And my suggestion is we fight one at a time, because they can't open doors. That's how I got over here. Okay. I wonder what's in this door at which point he opens the door. Oh, it's more fire. <laughs> and I go in there and I put fire out at him saying that. Alrighty. And the fire is now out over there for all those. Alright, and before I go forward, I go... Okay, never mind. I was gonna call back to you guys and be like, Are you coming or are you gonna hang out back there? Yeah, yeah, we, we, we're coming. Fine, fine, fine. You know, I've never killed a fire and I don't think I ever will, but these things are not that hard to kill. They just hurt a lot. <laughs> well, good thing I have range then. I agree. Now the only question is, who goes first? Then he just looks to roll initiative. Yeah, pretty much. Let's go with the glitter bomb guys. <laughs> Yikes. Better than the last time, which was the two. <laughs> and I don't get to re roll that because that's not an attack roll. Or save or an ability check. I thought it was any run roll. Nope. Just saves, huh? Um, lucky. When you roll a one on the d20 for an attack roll, ability check, or saving throw, mm. you can roll the die and must use the new roll. Damn, halflings. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of. Get heard what was it 12 and what was ariana's initiative um 16 cool cool and uh yeah that means she's up first technically all right she is going to move up to here and are you doing it regularly stealthily let's try stealthily yeah let's try that <laughs> that's an 18 there we go that's good probably yeah that's good and she is going to cast Fight at this one. Ooh, that's a good spell. 
And that is a, another constitution save of 14. Let's see how they do. Oh, that is a, that is a made saving throw. So, uh, yeah, and they made that. On a, that doesn't do anything then, because it's a cantrip. It is a nice cantrip, though. It is. When it, it works. It is, because it gives, I believe it gives disadvantage on attacks when it works, correct? Um, yeah. On the next weapon attack roll it makes before the end of its next turn. Awesome. Well, uh, we're gonna just say that spell, actually it would have hit, but it just would have failed to affect, right? Yes. Oh, wait. It yeah. doesn't necessarily say, it's just a constitution save. It, yeah, it doesn't really say. So we're just gonna take that as a spell fail. Okay. Uh, which makes it Kyori's turn. I mean, regardless, you guys have bonus action right now, so, or you're in special attack. Surprise sneak. round! Yep, so. Ooh, I got it. Which I should roll for those guys. Okay, well, that's where, well, that's when they'll show up. Cool. So can she see the the yeah. No. Not from where she's at. So to uh, give so an explain can. to give an explanation, uh a window is here and on this wall, as well as this wall. So if you were where Cass is, Cass can see them, but this wall right here is a full wall. Alright, let's I guess if she does there, I guess she's just trying to fire if she did that in, so she's <laughs> so, see, um can I roll for perception if um given that she heard the the howls earlier? Sure. If her wolf can help her sense that they're there. Oh, that's a. <laughs> that's a what? Uh, I think it's average because she has extra perception. Uh, no, she's. A... Okay. Which case, Catharsis looks back and he's like, "There's a lot of them over here." I would get your fancy animal weapons ready. Yep. We are going Lion King all over their asses. Alright, so she holds out her hand into her axe again. And she walks on over to see what damage is. Okay. So you're walking, what, right here? I'm gonna walk as, as yeah, next to um, Cathars. To get a better look. So there. I say we rush the first two and then worry about the other however many. I can't count higher than two. I couldn't <laughs> count to two either, actually. Alright, since they're both in front of me, I'm not going to attack. <laughs> but I'm going to ready. Okay. Ready my Good. attack. At which point, this person can be removed. It's Catharsis' turn. Yay! And he's gonna get out of the way and go into this room. He's like, you go ahead of me. I'm afraid of trains. <laughs> Wait, no. What's that word? Fire. That's it. I'm afraid of fire and taxes. Damn you, fire taxes! Stealing all of my fire tax money! <laughs> Silly. And it's Kaz's turn. Well, I'm gonna have my centipede un unwrap from my body and turn into battle axe. 
Oh boy. This is dangerous. Since I am a halfling, I can move by them. Probably. I mean, technically, you can move by people anyway if you have permission. Yeah, I'm a barbarian. I don't do that. <laughs> Fair. I just yeah. imagine this halfling barbarian, like, trying to, you know, like, bruise his way through, but he's too small to actually, like, have to make anyone move out of the way. <laughs> he's like, out of my way. It's like, yeah, sure, whatever, man. I, I, I already was. <laughs> Well, after after uh, Snendos turns into battle axe, I'm going to run five or twenty five feet here, and then the other five feet here, and I'm gonna take a nice hefty swing at this thing here. Alrighty, swing away, baby. Roll one d twenty plus nine. Come on, baby, hit. 18? That is a hit. Oh yeah! I'll roll my 1d10 plus... plus 6 because I'm raging. Yes, 1d10 plus 6. For 9 damage! Very nice. And then I swing at it again because multi-attack! Why is she still sad? <laughs> well, thankfully, that is a crit fail. I get like to re-roll again. <laughs> huh? Hooray for being a halfling. She's Filthy sad because she can't halflings. do anything yet. Ooh! 1d20 plus 9. She's that so is sad because he touched her halfling. That is a hit. Yay! And I'll roll my 1d10 plus 6. Come on, mama! 13 damage. Alright. And are you gonna do anything else? I don't think you actually can because you didn't go into rage yet this time, right? That is correct. And plus, you did say that the whole transforming thing is a bonus action, so I couldn't go into that rage is, if I wanted to. It's true. I was also thinking, uh, I can't remember how it might affect that, but, uh, you do still have a level of exhaustion as far as I remember. Uh, a, a level 1 exhaustion only take affects, uh, disadvantage on ability check. Also, I can't remember, don't you lose exhaustion if you get health from somebody? Uh... Uh... Cure wounds doesn't or, really say anything No, about it's, that. I think you do actually have to take a rest in order to get rid of exhaustion. Yeah. It's one of those it's it's used to cripple a party in the new in the new gen. Yeah, the only thing I could think of that would maybe do that and this is just guessing would be like a restoration spell. But that's me guessing and not really having read those. Yeah, this this only says a long rest gets rid of one level of exhaustion. Yep. Alrighty, well, that's gonna be fun for you. Uh, <laughs> that's why that frenzy man is a gamble. But yeah, that would be your turn, which now makes it the start of the new turn. And unfortunately for you all, the uh, the uh, <laughs> these guys rolled higher than you. <laughs> so this one, after being struck, is going to howl out in pain as a bonus action alerting the nearest couple I can't move it damn it ah, I can't spin it I knew that would happen can't turn anything upside down in this game god right, sorry not that one though then Cathars god forbid you have to turn bad guy so I try very hard and then when it need to do it it's not happening it's like, oh, you need to spin it? No, I don't need to spin it. Ah, fuck you. <laughs> if you could see my stream, you would know. God damn it. Diffy knows. She I sees. Know. Like, it let I me do Catharsis. Ah. Anyway. 
yeah he does that and then he's going to go ahead and do this which is you're going to need to make a dexterity saving throw which you do have advantage on so the disadvantage would cancel it out so it's just oh. yeah yeah it would good luck 1d20 plus 2 7 shit I'll let you choose as I always do you can take the roll or you can take the medium I'll take the medium the medium is 21 ow yeah ow. as this uh, creature opens its mouth opens its mouth and spews flames out at you in a 15 foot cone Toasty. which luckily uh our our favorite little tiefling is behind a wall but yeah and that's what that one did lovely oh yeah well, which these guys gotta have yep Oh boy. Oh no. Oh boy. Oh no. I knew you all well. <laughs> but uh yeah. Looks like I'm the krillin of this round. I think you might be, no. buddy. You made some bad decisions right there. <laughs> oh no. Like a really bad one and we're in a one off, so I don't feel as bad uh <laughs> just straight killing you off. Uh, 17 for armor. Uh, 15, buddy. Okay. No, I was, I was saying that's what I rolled. Uh, oh. take 14 damage. Ah, I'm down to zero. Alrighty, and you're oh, getting sorry. attacked. Kalari's not going to be very happy. Oh, cool, and that one crit. <laughs> Yay! Uh, so that would be... I don't know how that works. That's not very well described. I'm gonna say that wouldn't work that way because I wouldn't understand why it would. Um, so then take 21 more damage, which I don't. But with 5e, you can't, isn't it? Doesn't it say you can't? Go yeah, negative? you don't go negative. You just if it's not over your health limit, you just take a strike automatically for your death counter. Mm. Uh, at which point the other one attacks you. God fucking damn it. And it's going to get another 14, so you now have two strikes on your death counter. Yay! And you are trapped in a fucking corner. Yay! Yeah. Her uh, tiefling turn. Um. <laughs> We're going to... On the bright side, and I want to remind you of this, any amount of healing is enough yeah, healing yep, to bring them off. I was getting to that. <laughs> it, uh, they really... And I, I, this is why I did this. Like I keep thinking, I'm like, man, this is so... This is so... But I, I forget 5e is designed for the players, not for the GM. It's designed for the players to have a shit ton of fun, like exploiting all of their skills, fighting a bunch of monsters... <laughs> It's not for the thrill of, oh, I might kill you this round. <laughs> <laughs> and so there's a lot of ways to like, like I said, I hit, I didn't pull, usually I pull punches a little bit from time to time, especially on like the first or second encounter. Since this is, Monster Hunter World. yeah, since this is a one-off, I did not pull any punches on that. You took full damage from everything. Everything had its rolls. That one got a crit because it gets advantage when everything else is around it. They, I did, I didn't make them all use flame breath because I thought that would, they wouldn't probably do that. That seems a bit excessive when they're all surrounding you, <laughs> and there are other enemies. So, but they absolutely would gang up on you all four at once and try to murder you. So I feel like that was very in in character. Anyway, Tiefling, love him, love him with life. All right. She's going to use bonus action healing word at third level. Ooh, boss! Ooh. That's big a, heals. That's a that's a that's a big girl heal right there. Except <laughs> for with two of the three year ones. 
But that's five. That's eight points. I know that's not a lot, but it's it's something. He's at eight health. He's up. Yeah. He can go into range. Don't you? Death saves go away. They do. You reset as soon as you go above zero. Yeah. Which is like I said, they made it so much better in this one. Like, you know what I mean? In the old one, you would have took another forty points of damage. And you would have died. <laughs> you know that would have been it because it was another what? It was another oh. twenty-one plus fourteen. So it would have been another almost. It would have been quite your health pool again. But you would have been fucking close. And in the old one, they would have had to heal all that damage back. Yeah. Which would have been impossible. What do I want to cast? I don't know what to cast. Let's see. Um. Well, you did that one. I still have an action. Crap, I can only do a cantrip, though, because I cast this a leveled spell, right? Um, at higher using a spell, the healing increases. Shouldn't? I don't think so. I, does it nope. does it require it, a bonus it's, it's action? Okay. I thought it was a free action to boost a spell. But I I still cast a spell. Like it would have been a spell slot regardless of where I the spell the slot for sure. But the and it's a bonus action spell. So right. So your action I can only do a cantrip, right? But you could do anything that just requires an action. Yeah. Yeah, like the whole point of going like a heavy meta magic build is so that you can fire off a lot of spells that usually would only re you know what i mean require so like that's the point of you get meta magic and it lets you do or in the old one you would get bonus actions for spells as opposed to so you could turn a free action into a bonus and then just rapid fire spells and this is the same way they just changed it so that some spells are bonus actions naturally so that you can okay. rapid fire off well, certain spells the, okay I'm just asking because every other DM I've played it with in the past has said if you cast a spell for one, your other has to be a cantrip. Like, you can't cast two level three things, even though one's a I, I mean, I don't. They might have had their personal reasons for that. Yeah, I've never seen anything. I've never seen anything in the rules to indicate that. And I don't because I see similar mechanics in the attack tree. Like, the, you know, that you get barbarians and attack fighters who just get two attacks. Like that, you get that's part of your feat build. You just get an extra attack, and no one's like, well, you can attack with your sword, but then you have to attack with a dagger. You know what I mean? It's I, I think you're fine with it. In my personal games, you're cool as long as you're not exceeding the the usual limit of one regular action, one bonus action, and basically as many free actions as the DM will let fly. You can only pick your nose so many times before they murder you. <laughs> Stop trying to... Oh, there goes the lockdown order for my state. Yay! Oh yeah, mine went into effect today. Yeah, that's that's what they're saying. It's like, oh, it's the this is the day it's in effect. Blah blah blah. They're announcing it. Mhm. Mm well, they announced it the other day, and then they're like, oh well, now it's. Oh wait, okay, it's it went from regular stay at home order to emergency stay at home or whatever uh, the difference stay is. Stay at home. -er? Stay at homers. Oh. Yeah, homie, oh, homie. Oh, oh. Do we have a? Uh, what do we want to do here, peoples? Catharsis is currently going. What well, fuck, Donny? Quack. <laughs> Roasted We're duck is on the menu tonight. To... I mean, Kuari is waiting to like fucking the hell out. Of... <laughs> to be fair, I mean, with. If you were, if you guys are willing to take more exhaustion on your frenzy shit, you absolutely could just like start hacking into shit. As bar, <laughs> like, is this what you guys do? Is like 13, 15, 20? I'm a wall of meat, baby. We're going to. And you have a healer with you, so. Fight the one in front of me again. Okay. Well, the one in. We're frostbiting again, but it's the one in front of, like, immediately in front of me. Gotcha. Uh. He, I failed that one. I absolutely failed that one. Okay, so I failed that its one next so bad. thing is at disadvantage. Okay, that will basically just count, cancel out its advantage because it has advantage right now. Flanking. Well, it's actually it should have double advantage, but uh, you can't get double advantage. You can only 
they don't level and stack. Like if you have one advantage and yeah. two disadvantages, it's even. There's no it, there's no leveling to it for that one. Oh snap! I've been rolling damage wrong. I think on some of these. Oops. Because mm -hmm. I, I'm at six levels, so I get two. D yes, you have been rolling your cantrips wrong then. Yes, you get two d6s after. Okay, that's nine. Okay, so nine damage. Awesome. Which goes to... Yep, and that one is at... Yep. Ooh, you did do some good damage to that one, though. Anyway, uh, and it has disadvantage on its next thing, so let's give it a little... Uh, that, I guess. Anyway, that would make it Corey's turn. Alright, I'm gonna fucking get my axe and if it's dead anyways, hopefully. Uh, you're gonna cut this one in half, the first one? If I can. Um, I think as long as she lets you buy, you should be able to. You can kind yes. of move in and out of places. Yeah, I'm a barbarian again. I, I and I'm and I'm mad that it hurt my halfling, so I mean you couldn't hear or see it hurt your halfling, but you definitely heard flesh burning. <laughs> the sound of flesh burning. Yes. Anyway, uh yeah, so go ahead and make that roll. Let's see. You should probably hit. You have like a plus ten, which has been ridiculous. It's because yeah, Michael has you nine. both with plus two battle axes. All right, so I had a plus, I guess, ten, like you said. So that's nine. Yeah, you hit. It's like I noticed that when I started looking through. It's like, oh yeah, they both have a plus two battle axe. I mean, we may have a plus two battle axe, but we have armor. That's true, yeah, but that's because you're it. barbarians. <laughs> Uh, so now you do your. Are you one handed or two handed swinging? Um, I don't know. If it says. Uh, two handed uh, if you if it's versatile, so it means you can wield it with one, where it deals one d eight, or you can use it with two hands, which is one d ten. Oh, I'll do the one. Okay, and the reason that you do that is some people choose to dual wield battle axes. But I only have. Oh. Do I have two battle No, I'm just, I'm saying that, that that's the reason you can do that is because some people choose to do that. Uh, yeah, so 1d10 plus 7. Let me see which one's my... Oh, actually, if she went into a rage, it's 1d10. Did she, did she go into a rage? I have no idea. Uh, did... If she doesn't know yet that he got her... Well, I mean, this is pretty good... I feel like there's probably some pretty good indications. <laughs> well, I think he probably would have yelled out a bit in pain after right. falling to his death, basically. All right, cool. So she did hear him then, yeah. All right, yeah. We will, we'll let you take your rage then, which gives you plus two damage on that roll. It also Thank gives you know. resistance to bludgeoning, piercing, slashing damage, which is important. So I rolled a... Two. And I guess that's what. Oh fuck! I have too many things. Two plus nine is eleven. All right, cool. So yeah, eleven damage. Which I think is what it should be. Yes. Okay. Yeah, because I don't have that on here. Oh, there no, but I do. Seven. I like how when I need it to show up, it doesn't show up. But when it don't need it to show up, it shows up. <laughs> Sorry, excuse my anger. All right, uh, you have another attack you can do. You can also choose to go into a frenzy. Oh, well, you can't actually this turn. No, because that's a bonus action. Yep, you gotta go next turn into a frenzy. But you still do have a second so attack. Get another action? You do get a second action. You always get two a attacks, sorry. You get two attacks. I almost, given that she's angry, I would almost grab half of the freaking thing that she, ki that she killed and whack the first one with it's friend. Uh, I don't think you've killed one yet. Oh, I didn't. Damn it. Okay, never mind. Then I'll just swing I... it again. I'll swing it again. <laughs> yes. Okay, make make your big swing. Bada 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 swing. Bada 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 swing. 
That is a six. If that's six plus ten, so sixteen. Sixteen should be a hit. Where? Why do I keep? Nice. What's up? Oh, I'm on the couch, and I'm moving things, and I don't know where my D10 went. Oh no! Oh no! Yeah. Didn't you just have it? <laughs> I did. That's the problem. Just had it. You a ten? No, you're a twelve. Where the fuck is my ten? All right, so I'm just gonna do. I mean, if you don't have it, you just do a d20 divided by two. Yeah, I'm gonna do a eight. You're an eight, right? Yeah. Until I find my. Oh, you're gonna do one handed. <laughs> okay, d8 plus yeah. seven. Just the nine. Okay. Yeah, oh, plus two because you have uh, Rage on, actually, so 11. Ah, 11. Which is good. Now I got a stupid thing. My butt's big enough where I keep pressing the button. Alrighty, and that is Kiori's turn. It is now Katharis' turn. He's gonna try to do something badass. Well, he Hi. sucks, but luckily he has a high strength score, so. <laughs> Katharis runs and jumps through the window. And then he's gonna try to attack the, uh, which he got a decent dex roll. He's gonna try to attack the dog there. Damn, my dice don't like to roll, and that is 10 plus. Oh, come on. No, I just want to go to my base. Thank you very much. I know what Catharis does. Just need to see his goddamn stats. Yes, that's a plus. That should be a hit. And then. I found it. The couch is. Six. So. All right, we're gonna go ahead and oh, I forgot about that. I was, that's actually I forgot how he does that. Okay, so he actually did that. He's going to use his second attack. Unfortunately, he missed with the second attack. <laughs> so he's going to use his action surge and swing again. And I read the action surge wrong last time, so this is going to be fun. Then he's going to do plus. Wait, that's not out of wall? No, he, it's, there's a glass there and he jumped through. Oh, okay. So he's technically over here now, but, you know, he's, he's sharing his space with that guy. And, uh, that would be seven, five, and two, which is 14. And then he has one more attack. Let's hope he hits it. He did it. He's a madman. And he gets four attacks in one turn if he does it right. That's retarded. <laughs> I love you 5e but uh yeah you see him and he basically comes out and just goes mad crazy swinging the sword around like a fucking lunatic and uh just luckily just stabs the shit out of this thing and it falls over he's like you fucking suck that's what you get for burning me <laughs> fucking fire starting assholes <laughs> And then it's Kaz's turn. <laughs> so what are you going to do, Mr. 8 Health? I'm going to do the same thing I always do and the only thing I know how to do. Rage? Yes. Rage! <laughs> I'm going to rage again! All right, you're raging, baby. And I'm going to swing at... This motherfucker! That is a good plan. So I'll roll my 1d20 plus 9. Is it 
it is plus nine? Yeah, it should be. I think that's what yours is. Yes. Plus nine. Damn, plus two battle axe? Thirteen? <laughs> Actually, no. You somehow did not hit that. <laughs> Damn, you roll low rolls. One more roll when he truly needed it. 1d20 plus 9 again for the second attack. 14. That is also not a hit. How did you roll so shitty twice in a row? Uh, I rolled a 4 and then a 5. I see that. You literally rolled in the bottom quarter percentile twice. Yep. Well... Hellhound's turn. <laughs> ah. On the bright side for you, um, this one has disadvantage and is not concerned with you currently, so it's up first. And uh, you're, we're going to need a saving roll dexterity-wise from our two lovely ladies. A dex saving throw... That's an 11 for me. Ooh, that is a rough. Uh, Sixteen. Okay, yours is a save, so um, I will give you guys the same option I gave Michael, but I will say the same thing I was saying to him. Just take the medium damage, but I can do roll damage or I can do medium damage. Give me the dice. You want the dice? I want the dice. You're really trusting the dice, guys? That's an awful idea. Oh, oh my god, she might have trusted the dice gods the one good time. <laughs> Always trust the dice gods. You don't want to make them angry. I don't trust Six. the dice gods. <laughs> <laughs> nope. He, he never beat the dice but gods, man. It's so stupid. Uh, take... So you will take... Uh, 22 damage Diffy you take half of 21 Half of 20. So what kind of damage is this fire? That's actually 11 damage because I'm resistant a hey, tiefling magic very nice 10 and a half uh, You ten always ten round half. up uh, Yeah, D&D is always round up Unless stated otherwise, which I don't think it ever is. I have never seen it state fucking round down. Not in my entire goddamn life. But then again, I don't remember everything, so. But yeah, that was its turn. So then we got this one uh, that is going to look up at me and Michael. And uh, yeah, he's going to go ahead and require us to make a deck save. Yay. Which Catharis failed. D20 plus 2. Come on, give me a nat 20. It's not a nat 20. That's uh, 21 damage, my friend. Yeah, I'm back down to zero. <laughs> Which Quithoris is like, no, my friend. And he's actually not looking too good either. He's like, you sons of bitches. Uh, and this one is going to go ahead and attack Catharis because he is still up. Uh, and it's going to miss. It's going to miss badly. I probably should have just had it breathe fire on him. <laughs> Next time. But that uh, makes it our wonderful tieflings turn. Um, she's gonna keep doing what she's been doing. My ass is on fire. <laughs> Which is gonna be the ice whatever thing at. What is it? The one right no, in front frostbite. of you. Frostbite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Frostbite. For so Constitution saving throw on the same one I've been trying to hit. Alrighty. It needs a fourteen. Let's see. No, it did not get it. All right, so that's eight points of damage, and it still has disadvantage. And Which then is she's also it. going to healing word him at third level again, like a boss. Yay! And that's 
I always forget. I always forget to make you use your action to get up. <laughs> you fall down a lot, Michael. In this one, <laughs> you always fall down. A You're always the dumbass on the floor. <laughs> Tee -hee. It's because you have a propensity to open doors and say hi. And that's yes, I do. Eleven points of healing. Hey, you are once yeah. again alive, but on your ass. Yeah, I'm on my ass. And what else would you like to do, my good tiefling druid? Uh, she's not gonna move because she doesn't want an opportunity attack on her. That's a good idea. And I... she's out of actions, bonus action nonsense. I understand that. Uh... Unless... Is it my only action to make my snake do a thing, or that, does it have its own action? That is a bonus action. Okay. So yeah, she has nothing. Okay. I want to note that uh, both of these fires have now started. Why? <laughs> Katharis looks back and like, fucking assholes! God damn fire starting assholes. Quack Tony, I don't know what that word means. <laughs> <laughs> and Corey's turn. Let's see. Alright, so I used rage last time. Uh, rage now stays now on for rage. ten rounds. Alright, so that's cool. So now I can use frenzy now. Yes. Frenzy up on this first one. Oh, okay. So go ahead and make your first <laughs> attack roll. Because I remember she did move past Tiefling. Well, you would have you would have moved basically into the s to it's weird. They don't let you like swap spaces, and this is a hallway. But I I'm gonna say it's slightly big enough for you both to be in there, even though you're part giant cough. Probably shouldn't fit in this train at all. <laughs> <laughs> She's in between my thighs. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Whoa. <laughs> um. Anyway, go ahead and make that r attack roll because I think we're also hitting Diffie's time limit here. Yeah, just a bit. So we'll we'll uh, finish this part of the encounter and then we'll call it quits. Plus ten, so twenty-two. That's a hit. Mm-hmm. And. 10 plus 7, 8 plus 9. Eight. So it should be 8 plus 9, unless it was 1 plus 9, because you, you get a plus 7 usually, and then you get a plus 2 from your rage. Oh, yeah, that's right. So what did you actually roll? I rolled an 8. Okay, so then that would There's be a, a 17. Okay. And uh, with a firm and hefty chop, you swing and take the head off of the dog, which lies flat in a pool of its own blood. Bleh. Damn fucking right. Damn Skippy. And what do you want to do now? I still want to do that thing. I want to kind of uh, okay. so, hulk and just hulk. So you'll need to move forward and attack. Oh, you want to use its body to attack? Yeah. All right, so I feel like that would she take. Okay, I would. I feel like that would take. Uh, at least part of your action, one of your attack actions, to pick up the dog and use it as a weapon. So now you have one attack action left to attack the second dog. Um. Which is a D twenty with, I'm gonna say no proficiencies because you have no proficiency with it. I guess your okay. strength modifier. Uh, Which so is a plus five. Uh, so, well. Ooh, not quite enough. So you go to swing at the dog with its friend's body and it dodges out of the way. Hold still, Mook. <laughs> and that will be your turn, which makes it Katharis' turn. And he's going to go over here so he can get fucking flanking. Because Katharis needs flanking. Badly. <laughs> And he is only using it with one hand, so that should be 
plus five, six plus five plus two, so six. So Katara swings his first attack and strikes it heavily, but it uh, it's a pretty tough bastard. So he swings again and he fucking crit. <laughs> yeah. Katharis likes to crit. Oh, uh, and then Katharis likes to roll a one when he crits. Rip. Rip. Uh, but yeah, Katharis did another nine. This is eight. All right, but yeah, he swung twice at this uh, center one right here that's right in front of Michael, using the advantage he got from flanking, because he's technically on the other side of Michael. <laughs> uh, and that would make it Michael's turn, and he's up, so he just needs to stand up and then attack. Which, uh, standing up is only half of your movement. Oh, all right. So yeah, yeah I'll stand up. They made that. like I told you, they made everything easier for the players in this version. Three point five is still my favorite version. We might end up doing some in three point five eventually. Uh, I know nothing of three point five. Imagine, yeah, I... imagine five e with more details. All right. Well, I'm kind of pissed about being down again. Twice, which I can't remember. Yeah, there's no consecutive like issues for going down again and again. You can just keep going down. Yeah. Unless well, there's. I'm gonna a... try this again. I'm gonna rage because I'm pissed off. That's like your third rage of the day. Uh, actually, that's my fourth. Is that really? Yeah. Wow. Is it? Yeah. You got like what one rage? Is that all of them? That's all my rage. You've so used long. all of your rages on the second car. Yep. So I'm gonna swing at this one. Don't let me down, dice gods. 1d20 plus 9. Fucking Christ! You suck. What is this shit? Well, you get another try at least. This is why you stop using all your good rolls on dumb shit. I can't help it! I know, but I think it's funny to blame you. There. Does a 20 hit? That absolutely hits. Now smack it All with right. your battle axe. That's also a centipede that you can prep extra damage on. Cough. That takes a bonus action. Right? It that... does. It does, which you uh, keep losing because you keep going down. Yeah. <laughs> Said so I knew I'd put good limits on that thing. <laughs> 110 plus... I also like how no one has been using their spirit animal as just, like, an animal. <laughs> That's not true. I did. I gave a belly. Right, but not in combat. Oh, no. Not yet. I was... So... Saving it. It is a good, it's a good idea for later. Wow. Minimum wow. damage. Is that... That's with your plus two, too. Yeah. 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 Anyway, I could have done the slowest clo clap in the world, but I didn't. And that's for the one right in front of you, I assume? Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. I have advantage on it. Uh, Canceled out by your exhaustion, isn't it? Uh, no, I only have level one exhaustion, which is disadvantage on it. Oh, that's right. Yeah, so you should. You should have advantage on it. Make right, another so roll the, for your first that, roll. That, the, well, actually, I can count that as the... Well, that's what I meant, you know, because you right. up your first roll originally. <laughs> okay. Second attack. Thank fucking God for that shit. Uh, you suck. Second attack. Come on. Come on, baby. 16. That's a hit. Roll again yeah. in case you crit. <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Everyone forgets that when they really One, need it. Plus nine. There you go, 22. That's a better roll. And now he's gonna roll one. <laughs> Shut up, Axel. <laughs> 1d10 plus my eight. Hey, that's pretty good. And you take a massive swing at the wolf who is looking at Catharsis and lodge your battle axe deep into its spine, at which point your centipede screeches in victory and your foe falls. <laughs> Victory roar! 
<laughs> Quack. Shut up, Donnie! You didn't win We're that fight! It's not here yet. This is true. Uh, in fact, having said that, that would have been the end of Kaz's turn, which means it is once more this guy's turn. And uh, luckily, you guys are lucky that uh, we killed the Hellhound that had not used its flame breath already. <laughs> <laughs> or else it would have another flame breath to kill Michael. Having said that, seeing how low he is... God damn it. Oh, but it doesn't get advantage this time, so it didn't hit you. You got lucky. Usually it would have had advantage. It would have hit you. Pack tactics. Yep. But it doesn't get pack tactics while all of its people are incapacitated. So, yeah. Feel free to go ahead and take your turn, my tiefling friend. Uh, the D&D Beyond does not like my iPad right now. No worries. Were you looking for a certain spell? It just freezes, so I have to close out of Chrome and reopen oh, it. Oh, gross. Because I can't scroll the si the the scroll bar inside the like the middle ones. iPad and and uh, all the things that each other. All right. Um. Anything I can attack multiple things with. Oh, he's in that area. Mm hmm How is the one closest to us looking? Uh, there's only currently one alive. Yes. Okay, there's one... Oh, here. sorry, sorry. Oh, yeah, said that. yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. For, I, I forgot about those I know these two haven't been touched. No, no. And that's what I mean. Those guys are full health, but the other guy is... The, the one in front of you, he has actually not been touched either. So none of those oh, three snap. wolves have been touched at all. If I'm correctly remembering, and I think I am, because okay. she would have come to Diffy tried to swing at that wolf with the wolf's other wolf's body and missed. That's right. I wanted to be a hope. And how is Catharis looking? Uh, Catharis pretty beat up actually. Crap. Catharis, <laughs> however, Catharis is a. Is a is a is a sturdy motherfucker and has more plot armor than you will ever have. <laughs> okay, but that doesn't help against Constitution saves. Yeah, no. I mean, but you know he's a healthy motherfucker, kind of. Actually, is he? I don't know. <laughs> oh yeah, he's all right. Donnie's way healthier though. Does Cathars ever know? No. So she's going to cast Ice Knife. Oh, nice. It's a good, good spell. Ice Knife. Which is, I need this thing again. She's going to put it there. And that is, okay. Wait a minute. You created a shard of ice and fling it at one creature within range. Yep, so you don't have to hit for the explosion. The secondary part goes off regardless, but the first part doesn't go unless you hit. Yeah, so she's going to aim for this, the one that it's centered on, this one. Okay. So you just have so... to make a ranged spell attack. And that's a d20 plus my spell attack mod, right? Yes. 18 plus 6. That is a hit. So that's a d10. And on a hit, that's 1d10. I lost my d10s. Why does everyone lose their d10s? Well, here's the thing. They're all in front of me. It's just finding a d10 in the mess. Because <laughs> <laughs> I have like 19 sets of dice. Yeah, I used to have that many. Well, I still have that many, but now they're all cordoned into their own little dice boxes. That's a one. Well, I mean, that's damage. Uh, and now roll your 2d6 damage, and I will roll the saving throws. And those are 14s. 
Okay. Uh, both failed, so 2d6 full damage for both of them. Nine. Nine? Okay. Yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. And they are now pissed off, but uh, they're actually running away. And bonus action. Well, We're they will when it's their turn. the one in front of us. All righty. Constitution 14. Hey, I think that's my problem. I need to re reload this. There we go. All right, let's see. And that is a save, unfortunately. <laughs> I, I love that the one where it doesn't ma that it matters if they save they don't and then the one where they still take damage even if they s <laughs> it's always that way isn't it anyway yeah the one in front's Me, still totally I don't care untouched about the damage I'm trying to give the disadvantage on it that is true too granted now it doesn't have advantage so it's not nearly as dangerous. yeah but it could be even less dangerous <laughs> it's true it's dangerous to me all right so they're gonna do that. That's yep. Yeah, that's exactly what we're they're gonna do because they're assholes. Um, but that's after Corey's turn. Mm-hmm. Oh no, me. And we'll try to finish this up, basically in this turn. Well, after this turn, it'll basically be finished most likely, because you guys all get to attack this one wolf. Unless you choose to run over, well, actually, if you try to run over there, you'll be attacked by the other wolf, so it doesn't make a lot of sense, too. I mean, I'm already attacking the other wolves, so... Well, you don't have to run over there and attack them, Mrs. I don't have range. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you got no range. It's like, what do you mean you got no I range? Have, I don't have... I didn't We're all have swinging swords. <laughs> I didn't like, have 200 foot range. I was just saying, we're all swinging fucking swords and axes, but I got no right now. I, I know what you mean, because, like, <laughs> the fucking bows have on goddamn godly range yeah. in this game. Fucking 300 feet with di with the disadvantage or whatever, but still. Unless you get the sniper. Feet, yes. Range. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying it's dumb. Anyway, Corey, <laughs> what are we doing? Uh, let's see. I'm gonna try. Uh, does the battle? Uh, does the owl had the the wolf is like in wolf or? You can do the howl in uh uh axe form. Is that okay, what you're I asking? See what happens? Yeah, I want to see that. Happens. Okay, so you basically, it lets out a howl, and they need to make, oh, god damn it, it made a flow, god damn it. Alright, well, get ready to make rolls, everybody. Because oh, no. this motherfucker took off in fear. <laughs> oh, well, attack of opportunity, motherfucker. That's why I said get ready to roll. <laughs> Wait, is he in my range? I don't Since think so. on the other side of me? No, I don't think he is. Okay. All right, so if it's opportunity but everybody else axe, gets can I throw my axe at it. I mean, I, I, don't don't throw it. I wouldn't just... throw it, but I mean, you could technically. Yeah, you can still swing and it'll hit. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll swing. Because you're swing. The, the gist of it is you're swinging. Oh, uh, I guess I didn't. Range. I guess I didn't have to make it do that, but whatever. Anyway, it is definitely has is dipping out because of the fear making. Actually, it shouldn't right, be able to um, anyway, but whatever. I'm I'm doing my attack of up. Do it. <laughs> yeah, me too. So it's just that's a, a hit. Attack. Yeah, unlike most attacks, this an attack of opportunity you only get once, even if you could roll multiple attacks. Usually, okay. I got an 18 before I even added anything. All right, that's a hit. Let's see about Catharsis. Catharsis hit too. Yeah. So roll your damages. 12 damage. God damn it, Catharsis. Five plus ten, so fifteen. Okay, fifteen damage. Wait, is that how it is? Wait, oh no, you were uh, you were rolling to hit, right? No, you said you already rolled to hit. I already I already rolled and I hit. So you should be rolling one d. Because it over here says one d ten plus seven, 
as so I'm not sure. I don't it's one d ten plus seven, but whenever you're raging, you get an extra plus two. So it's one d ten plus uh, nine. So whatever you rolled plus nine. I forgot what I rolled. Goes if I bounce. I was <laughs> gonna roll again. I think it was five, but I'm not entirely sure. All right. Well, let's. We'll go with that. Nah, it's fine. So that's that. It, despite what you would have rolled, it probably wouldn't have killed it. Um, uh, and that did not stop it, so it gets got its one f space of run fear, and now it is Catharsis' turn. And he's going to smack it again. <laughs> or not. He's going to swing at it and fall into the fire. Oh, God. Oh, my God. He's going, God damn it, Burns, Donnie. Quack. I know you're a helmet. <laughs> and then that's Kaz's turn. Yeah, I crit failed. That was a great roll. Um, I'm gonna use the bonus action to have weapons secrete the poison on his blade. Alrighty. And then I'm gonna move over here, and I'm gonna swing at the dog. Woo! That's also both of your uses of poison. Yep. You you blew your whole load. <laughs> uh, I guess I. All right, but go ahead and take that swing. Plus nine. Come on, sixteen. That's a hit. Yeah. yeah. So I'll roll my ten plus. Is it a seven? Raging for 10 damage, Ooh, and now nice. it has to make a constitution save, which or be it, poison. it did not make a constitution save, so it is poison, and you gotta roll poison damage. So, roll 3d6, 12 damage. And uh, you uh, see that even though it gets away from the blade, it suddenly stops and goes and falls over as the poison uh, makes it succumb and I'm going to use the rest of my 30 movement back here <laughs> it's like oh, I think I need to be in the back for now unlike usually <laughs> Catharsis is like oh, I'm still on fire you sons of bitches <laughs> uh, at which point it is the dog's turn and they're going to be complete assholes one, two, uh, everybody roll a dex save. Well, actually, everybody but... One sec, I need to make the... I need to do a thin line. Actually, it might just be... Nope, sorry, just Diffie, make a roll. Oh. Well, actually, no, it's, its whole point is to run up and get as many people. So it'll be Diffie and... Orion, I think. Oh, it can huh. actually run on the body. Yep, and then... Yep. So it's going to be oh. right there, because it's a 15-foot cone. And then this one's going to shoot at Catharsis. Uh, well, I made a 17. That oh. is a oh, save. Think... The 12 is also a save. So I take quarter damage. You do take quarter damage once it... Would you like the roll, or would you like the base? Same for you, Deffy. Roll! Alright. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Quarter of 24 and Diffie half of 21. Okay, so 24 is the whole thing? Yeah. So, yeah, it'll be 12. Six. Or, yeah, six, sorry. I forgot you have quarter, not half. <laughs> Wait, uh, you got hit? It, it, uh, you made the save, but it does damage regardless. Yeah, it's, uh, you take half damage. Yep. Which yeah, is, so there's, <laughs> those are called ass traps. Uh, for you, it would be 11, yes. Right. Uh, uh, yes, yeah, yeah. And Catharis took okay. full damage, and he is now on fire and passed out. Three. At which point, these assholes both book it this way. <laughs> 
which they can absolutely do because they got like 50 feet of movement so they ran up 15 feet and then ran back like 30 or 40 yep <laughs> yep this one's actually farther because he didn't have to run as far either direction so he's up there but this one had to go with a couple extra spaces but yeah Catharsis is fucking on fire and passed out and you just hear a helmet quacking Quack, 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 um, but it's everyone's turn to decide what they want to do, so the tiefling. Alright, question, this one right here. Dead. dead. Okay, Sorry, so let me put this skull. Dead, close yeah. to us. Yep. Yes. Okay. That went better than I expected it to, to, actually. Um, I was a bit worried. I was a bit worried, but I'm getting the hang of 5e's dumbass encounter levels. We're going to cantrip. Crap. That is. That is. Oh. Um. <laughs> We're going to Okay. We're going to I don't know what like <laughs> Oh Moonbeam <laughs> No not quite uh, uh, so, uh, intern order. Uh, we can be, although technically none of you are in combat area of danger. Alright, so Corey's gonna go start out of the fire. While she waits for the weird yeah. tiefling girl to can, decide what she's gonna do. Can I see what a 40 foot radius would look like? Give me a moment, and yes. <laughs> da, 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 da. I'm just gonna change this one to 40 feet. Oh, that's huge. Never Fuck mind. Massive. Dude, people always <laughs> underestimate when they're thinking of the... Di radius versus diameter. Yes, you're, they're thinking diameter every time. It's like, no, that is half of the circle. That means 45 <laughs> feet in every single direction. Yeah, no, she's not going to do that. That's Were you massive. thunder waving? <laughs> no, I was gonna. I was thinking sleep storm. Oh yeah, no, that thing cannot. Fire. Thank Jesus Christ, just burn the whole Thunder train to. Isn't too th bad. Th burning the whole train to the ground would be easier in that case. <laughs> Can sleep storm. That option. I mean, at least sleep storm would put out the fires. Yeah, but I could do that without causing more damage. That's <laughs> true. Um. This group doesn't think about the side effects. <laughs> this this group barely thinks about the effects. <laughs> She's the going to... Ray of Frost, the closer one. Alright, you're gonna do this one? Yeah, that one. Alrighty. And... So I roll on that. 17 plus 6. That should be a hit. And that's 1d8 cold damage. That's a 3. And its speed is reduced is by that, feet. Is that 1d8? It's 2d8! <laughs> <laughs> There you go. Six. <laughs> and its speed is reduced by 10 feet until the start of my next turn. Alrighty. That makes it... Kyori did her turn. Catharis is got to fight off a death save. Hey, he did it. Mm -hmm. One for Catharis. And it's Kaz's turn. Uh... You just going to stand there and bleed for a while? Actually, Catharis... Wait, can he... Ah, no, he can't do that while he's passed out. I was going to make him use his second wind. <laughs> Probably should have done that earlier. I forgot I had one of those. 
Quack, shut up, Donnie. Oh, I know what I can do. <laughs> 45 foot radius. Oh, what's he doing now? Yeah, I'm muting my mic for a minute. No worries, okay. we're, uh, we're getting towards the end of it here anyway. Probably should because I'm in danger zone. But you know what? Fuck it. I'm moving here, and I'm gonna grab one of my javelins and I'm gonna huck it at this one. Okay. So that is a plus seven and a one d six plus four. So I'll... and that is should be in range there. Yeah. Oh wait. I think you need to go forward five more feet. It says 30, 20. Right, so 30, 120 is effective in the uh, long range. So that's limits, not bases. So it's effective range is 30 feet. Like you can throw from there, but you would do it with disadvantage unless you have sniper. Because that's what 3120 means. See, was... they said, I could always eat you again. You would always no. move five feet forward. I think he has a moving speed too. Yeah, I got, I got just enough movement to move. Yeah, and then you will be able to do it with no disadvantage. All right. So no disadvantage. I'm hucking a javelin. Plus seven. Hit. Fifteen. That is a hit, I believe. Yes. Which reminds yes. me. Yes. Now it's one d six plus four. Eight damage. Alrighty, eight damage done. And can I throw another javelin at it? I guess. I mean, you do have double attack, right? Oh. Yes, I do have extra attack. All right. So I'm throwing another javelin at it. Which really, they need to work on that. Because let's be honest, there's no way you could pull out and throw two javelins at once. Yeah, that should be good. Because there's no way you would be able to throw two javelins in the same fucking six second span with any accuracy or available force. <laughs> the shits just take your whole body to tuck. Alright, 1d6 plus 4. 10 damage, max. Hey, nice. And the wolf is looking unhappy, but it goes, Aroo! And, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's the end of my turn. That makes it the wolf's turn. <laughs> that one just fucking books it. Oh wait, this one can only go that far because it has reduced speed. Reduced those speed though. That makes it the tiefling's turn. Oh, and she's muted. Hi, I'm here. Okay. I just had the mic muted because I was talking to my mom because she just got home from work. Gotcha. It is your turn now. All right. Um, where's the ruler? You should only have to move like 20 feet up. It can't move that much farther than you were. Okay. Then Plus, yeah, we're gonna spells have a pretty impressive uh, range, most of them. Go there and frostbite again. Actually, ray of frost, which means I have to roll. Yep. Uh, this 13? Takes... Ooh, no. Sorry. Okay. Unfortunate, but true. That's the, is the trade off is like guaranteed damage, yeah. but less damage, or not guaranteed damage, but. Yeah. Or, you know what I mean? It's one of those weird ones. And 
Um, is Catharis still unconscious? He is 100% still unconscious. We're gonna throw a baby healing word. A baby healing word yeah. for Catharis. Quack is like, Donnie refuses to use any healing on me, that son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, that's six. Six? Awesome. He stands back up, he's just like, fucking Donnie, Quack, I don't care if you say you don't know how. You're lying. But, uh... Yeah, that's my turn. Kuori? I'm trying to decide, because, uh... Alright. The wolf, like, if if I were to have it attack in any way, does it, um... Does it, um... Like, I'm trying to think, like, like if it were to bite, does it, or is it kind of... that? Sorry, I missed what you were saying there. I was just wondering, like, how we... My wolf. Uh, I mean, your wolf has, like, the same s basic stats as a regular wolf, except for its strength and intelligence, which are relative to yours. So it's got, like, 20 health or something. Yeah, because I kind of wanted to... Sorry, to rush towards it and then throw my... My axe and then have the axe, like, turn to the... And, like, bite the... Hmm, <laughs> that's interesting. Huh? You do have four javelins, which are arranged up True. to 120. Yeah. Yeah, I know. It's I mean, you can definitely try that. Uh, the wolf itself has a movement speed of like 40 feet. Um, a battle axe is not a typical thrown weapon, so I think its uh -huh. range is probably like 20 or 30 feet to throw. Well, I was just gonna like start throwing it in the chance. Yeah, I know, but I'm saying that's how far the battle axe could possibly go before it turned into a wolf. So you could possibly throw it, like, probably even less because it's a battle axe. I don't really talk about it, but we'll say 20 feet. I think that's the thrown object's limit. So mm -hmm. improvised thrown objects are 20 feet, and then the wolf can move 40 feet. But if you run yeah. 40 feet... Then throw the wolf twenty, the axe twenty feet. Then the wolf one runs. It could catch it. <laughs> yeah. So the, okay. You want to well, do that? <laughs> yeah. Okay. That, that was kind of like my plan because I wanted to get all that. Ready. All right. I uh, so I think we is. should have you uh, roll a d twenty, I guess, to see how far you can hook the the axe in the right direction. Just a regular d twenty. Yeah, with strength, I guess. Uh, so oh. she she, she is, is plus five, up, right? So yeah. It's a D twenty plus my strength. That's a hundred. All right, that should be good. So then you throw it another twenty feet, and your wolf will show up. Eh. Right there. Wait. Yeah. And is now a wolf, but you are out of bonus actions. Right, and and that was and that was the whole point, so that you could do certain things. Be like, all right, so like, like you just did, you could do something. Then it becomes a wolf and attacks, mm -hmm. which because it's cool. Yeah, to I want him to be like. Very all right, so I assume you want the wolf then to attack the other yes. dog. Yes, yes, yes. All right, so he's gonna he's go up nice. and attack the dog, which he could possibly. So roll a d twenty. Plus four. Plus four. Um, seventeen. Oh, that is a hit. Uh, and you can do. Me I'll let you do medium or not for this, but you can do two. You can do the medium or you can do the roll. You're breaking in and out. I oh. keep on hearing medium. So you can you can do the medium or you can do the roll for this one since it's a secondary character. Again, I'm. Breaking out. I only hear the medium and secondary. <laughs> yeah, you may have oh, so having some internet. For them, or damage for, my... for them. Or for you in the wolf, technically. Sorry. So you're doing damage uh, to I'll them. Take, oh, I'll take them. So the men's seven. Um, and then this thing needs to make a roll. So it's a seven damage or half a seven? Uh, I would be seven. 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 Okay, so. Which it does do. 
but that is about it does not finish it off and it is able should be able to knock it prone because that is part of its attack bite roll so this dog is now prone which we still need a better one for prone and that so makes it Catharsis' turn but that damage was from for my wolf right yeah okay cool and now it's Catharsis' turn he's gonna be like the room the room the room is on fire and that's all he's gonna do go return Kaz uh, can I move is it within range hell yeah it is within range now the question is what's the range of that 45 fuck it I'm, I'm hucking a javelin all right with roll. disadvantage yep so roll your d20 with disadvantage so one d20 plus seven. Oh god Come on. Hey, that is a hit. All right. And then 1d6 plus 4 for the damage with the javelin. 6 damage. All right, you got a nice lucky shot, and since it was knocked prone, it doesn't have its usual dexterity bonus to armor. And it catches a javelin to the chest, and it goes wheeze, and its last breath leaves it. Victory roar! Yeah. Alrighty, and that is that. At which point, uh, the door over here shuts, and the door over here shuts. Oh God damn it! And you start to hear a like sizzling noise. I'm gonna do a perception to see where the sizzling noise is coming from. It's a good idea. Don't fucking fail me now. Ooh, a nat 19. This is only good perception rule of the night. <laughs> uh, you notice that the sizzling noise seems to be coming from the bodies of the wolves. Oh. All right, and Oriana's using control flame to extinguish as much flame as she can now that all the enemies are dead alrighty so I assume we're just gonna start from where you're at yeah just close this stuff all right. first and then like the big ones going to those first all right well, let's start with the closest one first because this is probably where we need to cut it off we're already about an hour over our usual time mm -hmm. sorry about that Diffie <laughs> It's okay. We also st started about an hour late today, which was rough. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, I think we'll me. call it for now. And if we ever get back to this adventure, we'll pick it back up. But if we have our regular adventures next week, we may never see this place again. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. Having said that, yeah, 5e I definitely has got to work on its rating system for challenges. Poor bastards. Like all right. <laughs>